Hey guys, welcome in. So we got another tutorial for you today. Um, this one is about parallel compression, but using advanced techniques to take your parallel compression to another level. Um, now, if you don't know what parallel compression is, you can just Google it and look it up. This is for people uh, who already know how it works. Um, but basically, parallel compression is just taking a signal, sending it somewhere else, compressing the hell out of it, and blending it in with the original to add some more grit and uh, distortion. So let's check out this mix. When I'm short, pop like a cork and leave you straight up, straight up. Nigga, my cake up, cake up. Huh? Use a broke ass hater. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Huh? You ain't even got no paper. Cool. So it's not a fully finished mix, but it'll suit the purpose of this video. So we have everything routed to a pre master fader. And on the send of that, we're sending it to an auxiliary channel doing some parallel compression. When I'm short, pop it like a cork and leave you straight up, straight up. Nigga, my cake up, cake up. Huh? Use a broke ass hater. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Huh? You ain't even got no paper. Oh, nigga, you just suck. Cool. So obviously, that's adding a lot of character, grit, and edge. And it is making it louder. That's good to be aware of. But let's take it a step even further. So that's usually where people stop with the parallel compression. I found some other techniques that can really kind of spice things up. So let's check out this right quick. We got a lo-fi. So what we're doing is adding 0.3 of distortion on our parallel compression channel. And we're going to bypass that in and out and just feel what that does. But you're going to be surprised. When I'm short, pop it like a cork and leave you straight up, straight up. Nigga, my cake up, cake up. Huh? Use a broke ass hater. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Huh? You ain't even got no paper. Oh, nigga, you just suck a dick. I'm getting rich, I'm way up, way up. Shit. Hit my pocket stick like a shanty hip, so my money maker. Hit the bag. I do a major, I sort of bag. So you can tell that adds some aggression to it. The mid rage kind of jumps out at you more. It's got a cool vibe to it. So that's a great technique right there. And you could even go 0.1 if you want to go minimal with it. But that definitely helps spice up your parallel compression channel. And I have one last one for you guys. Let's do this here. So we're going to be doing a nice low shelf below 100 and then a high shelf around 10,000. And we're going to bypass this in and out and check how it sounds. When I'm short, pop it like a cork and leave you straight up, straight up. Nigga, my cake up, cake up. Huh? Use a broke ass hater. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Huh? You ain't even got no paper. Oh, nigga, you just suck a dick. I'm getting rich, I'm way up, way up. Shit. Hit my pocket stick like a shanty hip, so my money maker. Hit the bag. I do a major, I sort of bags, all types of flavors. Huh? New England rappers, we move the masses. Fucking will ya. So you can tell that actually adds some character and spice to it too, which is really awesome. And what's unique about this technique, I haven't seen this one very often, is it kind of makes sense because the parallel compression is going to be at lower volumes in your mix. You know, it should be. And at lower volumes, you kind of lose the perception of the low end and the super high end, etc. So by doing this, you're kind of, you know, doing a smiley face type thing, but you're also bringing that a little bit up where you wouldn't feel that as much, so it even enhances the parallel compression more. And last but not least, let's bypass these two effects and just feel what it's doing. When I'm short, pop it like a cork and leave you straight up, straight up. Nigga, my cake up, cake up. Huh? Use a broke ass hater. Oh. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Huh? You ain't even got no paper. Oh, nigga, you just suck a dick. I'm getting rich, I'm way up, way up. Shit. Hit my pocket stick like a shanty hip, so my money maker. Hit the bag. I do a major, I sort of bags, all types of flavors. Huh? New England rappers, we move the masses. Fucking will your bag talk, push it down, bet. And there you guys go. You can definitely feel a difference besides just the volume jumping out a little bit. The mix almost feels a little bit flabbier without that distortion and that EQ. It really adds a cool flavor that, you know, I've never really seen done too often. Um, you can rock this on your mixes and it probably will help a lot in certain situations. I wouldn't use it all the time, you know. Um, parallel compression generally works on its own. Uh, but if you need that extra, you know, 5-10%, this, this is a great way to do it. All right, guys. It's been great. Take care and remember to subscribe to my channel because um, I'm doing this every few weeks, giving out new tutorials for free. So appreciate it. Take care.